I'm Paula Froelich. Take a journey with me to explore the unknown and discover the unexpected. This is Abroad Abroad. The adventure starts now. Everything in Australia might look really scenic and beautiful and even sometimes super cuddly and sweet, but it all wants to kill you. Welcome to the top 10 countdown of everything that can kill you when visiting Australia. Weighing in at number 10 are bats, which aren't just creepy, they're deadly. Bats can kill you with rabies. There was an outbreak in Darwin a couple of years ago where bats were attacking people. One bite can lead to paralysis, delirium, convulsions, or even death. At number nine are berries. The berries on the bushes may look sweet, but be careful. One juicy bite could cost you your life. There's something like over 20 species of bush tomato. Um, and there's only quite a few that you can actually eat. They all look just about exactly the same. So you have to be really, really careful which ones you pick. Otherwise you might, might die as well. At number eight, sure. Go be one with the land, but it might end up killing you. There's salt lakes in Central Australia. As you travel across them, they'll, um, if you have direct contact with your skin, they'll dehydrate you pretty quickly. Uh, so lots of animals just get preserved in the salt. At number seven is the marbled cone snail. Yes, you heard that right, a little old snail. Check this out. The marble cone snail fires a venom-laced harpoon into its prey. One drop of this venom is powerful enough to kill 20 people. At number six, the spiders in Australia make our own black widow look like an innocent little girl. Down under, they've got a tarantula big enough to eat birds, but that's not even the deadliest one. I've seen a, you know, a couple of huntsmen's, and I don't know if they'll kill you, but they'll certainly give you a nasty bite. Uh, Redback spiders. Redback spiders are things that nightmares are made of. They have really long fangs that they use to inject their toxic venom, making them one of the deadliest spiders in the world. At number five, snakes. Ah, my favorite, snakes. In Australia, we have the top 11 most venomous snakes in the world, and the number one is our inland taipan. The inland taipan has enough venom in one bite to kill 250,000 mice, or 100 full-grown men. Number four, remember the song, The Octopus's Garden? Well, you don't want to be in the blue-ringed octopus's garden. It doesn't squeeze you to death, but its sting can be fatal. Number three, they may be the size of your fingernail, but never underestimate the wrath of the box jellyfish. The tentacles dangle about two meters long, and they can uh, brush up against you while you're swimming. And they've got lots of little spiky bits and they can inject lots of poison into you all at once. It stops us from going swimming in our beautiful beaches because he can paralyze you. At number two, the guy who launched Steven Spielberg's career in Jaws is still just as scary after all these years. We just saw champion Aussie surfer Mick Fanning fight one off during a contest. Great whites can be roughly 20 feet long and weigh around 5,000 pounds and even sense just a drop of blood at up to three miles away. But I do joke and I say, uh, there's no sharks in our harbor because the crocodiles ate them all. And the number one thing that can kill you in Australia, an animal even the sharks are afraid of, the enormous saltwater crocodile. Crocodile has about a 98% strike rate and it's got an extremely powerful set of jaws, probably the most powerful alive today. He is the most deadly animal probably in Australia. He kills more than anyone else. So come on, come to Australia. You might accidentally get killed, but what a way to go. On the next episode of Abroad Abroad. Okay, so the deadliest Australian animal is a saltwater crocodile. Obviously, I wanted to go swimming with them.